Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the Cisco IP communicator and add it to your users and phones within CCA 3.2.1. So the Cisco IP communicator is the soft phone, if you will, for your PC or your laptop. So first thing I need to do is I need to find out my MAC address for my particular laptop. So I'm going to go into CMD. I'm going to type in ipconfig forward slash all. Hit enter. And for my local area connection, this is my physical address. This is my MAC address. So that's the number that, or the number that I need to write down on a piece of paper um, for future reference. So I'm going to exit on out of that. I made my note. I'm going to go into my users and phones icon up here in CCA. Let this launch. Okay, so my users and my phones are up. I'm going to select add. I'm going to type in the MAC address that I wrote down through CMD 101F. Oops. 101F. 74 E A E4 6 D. My phone type drop down all the way down at the bottom is CIPC, Cisco IP Communicator. Allow video calls. First name, I'm just going to call this um, IP Communicator. My user ID is going to be IP communicator, all one word. And my password is going to be 123456. Okay, so I'm going to go down here, select my first button for my extension. And I'm going to make this 228. My button label will be 228 IPCOM. And my description. Is going to be just simply, oops, let me just make it IP communicator. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit here and I'm going to enable voicemail. Automatically will fill in the call forward on busy, call forward no answer, and the call forward timeout in seconds. As you see, the default is 20, basically, that is equivalent to four rings. Other things that we need to make note of is the hold timer. So I'm going to make this hold when idle or alert shared and I'm going to make it 60 seconds. So I put a call on hold. I've got 60 seconds before that phone is going to ring back. That phone call is going to ring back to me. I'm going to select OK. This time I'm going to go through the process of adding all of that information that I have just created putting it on to the UC500. I'm going to select OK. And as you see, here is the new information. I'm going to select OK. And I'm going to do an important thing here, and that is save my configuration. So I've created some real-time information, and now I need to copy that to what is called the startup config, so that when my device, my UC520 here, loses power and reboots up, the information that I've just done is going to be transferred to the startup config to make sure that it's still there during a reboot process. Okay, so it's done saving. So I'm going to exit out of CCA. I can just simply go up here, exit out. It's going to ask me, yes, topology, that's this view. Do I want to save it? Sure. Now it's asking me, do I want to save my configuration again? I've already saved my config by pressing this. It's asking me, do I want to do it again? I can? Sure. Why not? Okay. CCA, CCA excuse me, has completely exited out. As you see, I'm back to my normal home screen. The next video I'll actually show you how to actually install 
Cisco IP communicator, the soft phone, on your PC and uh, get it up and running.